Greetings, salutations, and welcome to Kingy's Toy Box. Today, we have got brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figures. Now, I'm really excited about these ones. Um, I was a big fan of Turtles back in the day, um, in the 90s, the original um, cartoon series. Loved the first and second film, not so much the third film. Quite enjoyed the Michael Bay films, which is a bit of a mm, bit of a funny one to admit. Um, but love the characters, love the mythology and everything. The comic books are great. The weird thing about Ninja Turtles is that it's one of these franchises where every iteration of it has been a success. You have things like He Man. Thundercats, whatever it is, and they've tried revivals to different levels of success. Turtles always works. There was the original Turtles version, there was the movies. Okay, apart from that one where they had Venus de Milo, the, the puppet one, we'll ignore that one. Um, then you had the 2000s cartoon, which was really popular. You had the CGI cartoon, you had the Rise of the Ninja Turtles cartoon. And now we've got this Mutant Mayhem movie. And each of them had their own figure line. Each of them had their own merchandise. They all did really, really well. What I'm loving about these ones, and I've not seen the movie yet, is that they are recognisably the characters. This looks like what should have come out when the cartoon came out. Uh, so if anyone remembers the vintage Turtles figures that came out, they did not look like the cartoon versions. They looked more like the um, comic book versions. And it was a little bit weird playing with them because it didn't feel like they belonged in the cartoon. And that was what you were trying to recreate. So it was there was a little bit of a weird disconnect with it. Whereas if these had come out in the 80s, you would have recognised them instantly. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about his hat. Um, which is a bit of a difference, but but yeah, they've got the feel of those characters, so I feel happy buying this as a nostalgia kick for the original cartoon, even though it's from a new film and the designs are slightly different. We'll just move the camera up a wee bit so we can get a better version. So, let's have a look. So we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles! Rawr! Big Mutant Mayhem. We've got the Nickelodeon branding, obviously. They paid a lot of money for that. And the design of the box, it's a weird shape. We've got a little indent there and a little bit of a wall coming down. Um, the design is, we've got this wall, we've got all this graffiti, the Splinter's name there. There's a little, maybe Casey Jones. It's a thing with a little turtle peeking out. That's the top of a manhole cover there. There's a little bit of ooze coming out of the thing. And we've got the artwork of Raph, which is who we're looking at. Raphael, the angry one. And maybe that's part of the turtle's appeal that, like, you know, each one has a different kind of character trait that you can latch on to. I don't know. I always liked Raphael. He was always my favourite anyway. And then they made him even cooler in the movie. So I was like, yeah... Okay, on the back then, collect them all. But what you've got is shots. I mean, I don't know if these are shots from the movie. Or this is just the artwork from the movie. But these are not the action figures. Your action figures will not look like this. Um, it's a bit of a weird choice. Wants us to look at webisodes on there. Um, not checked them out yet. We've obviously got the website and everything. But we've got a cool clip and collect artwork card. Raphael. Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. But beneath his hard head and tough exterior is a sensitive turtle just looking for someone to talk to. Weapon Twin Sight. Dreamed to be a mixed martial arts fighter. There we go. So I wonder if we're going to see those character traits come out in the film or whether this is just something they put on there. See if Raph's got MMA dreams in the movie. Okay, so this is your trigger warning for people who do not like opening toys. You good? Let's go. Okay, all right. So when we cut that out, oh, we'll have a little bit of ripped. Oh, not quite. So most of that's going to be intact. We'll try that a bit later. Um, 
Okay, so this all comes nicely packed in. You've got your Raphael figure. It looks like we've only got one little bit of twine here. Oh, we got a bit of plastic there as well. We're going to get the little scissors. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, come on. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's giving us a bit of grief, is this? Right, we've done that. And then down there. Okay, so first off, we've got the weapons rack. Oh, not just totally a weapons rack. Okay, so we've got a little... I'm going to use the scissors for this. If you want to just twist them off, that's absolutely fine. I'm using scissors. This has been conditioned playing war games like, you know, use your clippers. Right, so we've got a little... Get rid of his rubbish in there. This looks like a kind of a throwing knife or something there. And we've got a slice of pizza. Looks like pepperoni, but it could be any circular delicacy on there. Not necessarily pepperoni. And it looks like this isn't just a sprue. Oh, that bit, you won't believe this. That bit actually pinged up into the thing where I've been cutting them off into. So that was pretty good. If I'd have planned that, that would have been awesome. Yeah, in fact, I think twisting these off might be difficult. So, you know, you may have to help younger children. So what have we got? We've got what looks like a can of ooze. The, the turtles, your action figures look like they'll be able to hold that. Uh, we've got these, like, I can't remember what they call these, but these are like hooky sword things. So alternative weapons, because obviously we're going to get his size. We'll get there. Um, and if we just cut off these little bits, I think we're going to end up with a half-decent weapons rack. So this reminds me of the original ones. You used to get one of these with loads of stuff on it. We got a couple of ninja stars there. So that's a lot of accessories to get, considering they're not even his main weapon. Then we'll just finish clipping all of that. And then we've got your weapons rack, so you can... Put these on there to display. I imagine that'll be freestanding. Probably not on here because it's... Um, we've got a, a sheet on it so we don't scratch his coffee table. But um, yeah, so that could be freestanding weapons rack. If you wanted to make your own little sewer den, there's plenty of props you can start playing with there. But let's get to the main event. So yeah, we've got his size. We've got, and I absolutely love this as a little feature, we have got the original turtle before he got mutated, and it matches his skin tone. And there we go, we've popped out the actual figure himself. So let's have a look at him. First of all, like I said, big difference in Raph's design. I think in Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and in this one, he's got this sort of full covering instead of it just being a bandana. Gives him a bit of distinction, makes him look different to the other ones. Um, I, I don't mind it. I'm sure some purists may not. So his head's got good movement on it. Yeah, can turn all the way around. He's got a little scar on his chest there. His arms on like a ball joint, so we got a lot of rotation on that. Then there's a bend there for the elbow, but the, that's quite nicely covered by his little thing there. His hand can move all the way around. Let's have a look at the legs. So there's a lot of movement on the leg. Ooh, we've got all the branding on there um, in black ink. That's a bit of a shame. And, yep, we can bend his leg there. Ooh, we got little... Ooh, that looks like if they are going to put things on 
vehicles or play sets. That's going to be a big peg to, to stick him on there. And then his foot rotates round, but doesn't seem to have any up and down motion. And then his belt, it's got the holes for the size. Let's see if they, yep, you can pop them in there. Or, of course, you can have him brandishing it. So that is Raphael. I am well impressed with that. Can we take his belt off? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so, but the Turtles are a team of four. Don't worry, I don't have all four. But I couldn't just get one. So we have Michelangelo. Weird, isn't it? Like, I know it's the order they're going in the song. Leonardo leads, Donatello does machine. Raphael is called crew, Michelangelo, party dude. Um, so when I bought them, I was like, I can't. If I've bought Raph, which I always do first because he's my favourite, Michelangelo's got to be the other one I get. I know it's weird. Um, so same packaging. Busting out the New York sewers, a four bodacious brothers ready to kick butt, but born from the mysterious mutant moons, the tubular turtles and their radical rat dad have trained in the art of ninjutsu to become a bad guy bashing super team. With their buddy April O'Neil, not available. They're about to face the gnarliest mutants the world has ever seen. There they are. Um, Michelangelo, so Mikey is the comedian or the entertainer, if you go on the front. Which, funnily enough, the shop I bought these from, the entertainer. Too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny. He might not be the best at ninjutsu or waking up on time or even hygiene. But you can always count on Mikey's positive attitude. Weapons, nunchaku. Dream to be a stand-up comedian. So you've got Raphael joining the MMA and Mikey being a stand-up comedian. Interesting career choices. And then, yeah, I won't go through quite as much uh, opening business with this one because, you know, you've seen it all with Raphael. But let's have a look at Michelangelo. So again, we've got his little turtle. And again, it matches his skin tone. So even from this distance, you can pick out which turtle's which. And you may not be able to see that, but their heads are actually facing different ways. So that's not exactly the same turtle model, which that's just great. It looks like it's just reversed, but you didn't need to go to that level of detail to do that. Um, Michelangelo, let's pull him out. And then his nunchucks. Okay, the nunchucks are better secured than the size were. As I say, I won't cut all these out, but we'll we'll go through them. So it looks like he's got an ooze as well. He's got ninja stars as well. Um, he's got pizza as well, but I, I will point out these are all different designs. These are not exactly the same, apart from possibly the ooze. Yeah, the ooze is the same mould, I think. Uh, but the pizza's different, the ninja stars are different, the secondary weapon is different. It looks like here, I think what we're supposed to think is that Mikey has sort of fashioned his own nunchucks. We've got one made out of a microphone there. And we've got one, I mean, that just looks like, wow, oh, it's pretty deadly, actually. Right. So, yeah, Mikey, actual bandana, not a head thing. All the motion, same as Raph. Yeah, significantly smaller though, if we look at that. And I love the shell. We didn't look at Raph's shell too much. But the the level of detail in the shell and the fact that it's really big compared to the rest of them. Um, We've got his space to put his nunchucks in there. That's going to mean bending that though. I think what you might have to do is, is stagger them. Um, if you're going to be putting them both on his shell, I think that might be the safest way so that you're not bending the 
the plastic too much on the um, the weapon there. Oh, come on. Okay, go on. There we go. So, yeah, you can store both his nunchucks there and have him doing whatever. So, let's compare them. I mean, you can't really see that from there, but if we hold them at the same level, you can see Raph's quite a bit taller, quite a bit bulkier. Shell's a lot bigger, but Mikey can hold more weapons on it. Um... Mikey doesn't have a little pouch. So I think this is something that they're going for to distinguish them. So if you remember in the original cartoon, they all look the same. The figures, they had different expressions on the faces and they had different coloration, which they've kept that here. Um, but more or less the turtles were exactly the same. Whereas in later versions, we have seen them mixing it up a little bit, like I said, with the bandana, with the fact that they've made Raph the biggest one and Mikey the littlest one. Um, they are making those changes. But again, someone who was a fan of the 80s cartoon can just look at these and go, yep, yeah, that's they were the guys who I saw in the cartoon. Okay, they don't look 100%, but there's so much personality in them. Like, if you look at the the painting on those grins... You didn't get that on the old figures. The fact that, yeah, we've got a chunk out of his shell there, whereas Mikey's shell's perfectly, perfectly clear. The painting all looks really, really good on it. The shells have got that lovely dark brown colour. And the best thing about these is that they are reasonably cheap in the grand scheme of toys. I picked these up for £11 each in the UK. That's comparable to, if you watch some of my other videos, the Captain Kirk figure that we reviewed or the DC superheroes that we reviewed, we're looking at the same sort of price point. But if you look at the articulation that we get in here, the n sheer number of accessories that you get with each of them, the fact that you get a little turtle figure with them, the weapons even, the fact that we've got multicoloured weapons instead of just one clear plastic figure... They, they really are good value for the price point that they're going at. I don't know quite how it's going to translate to the rest of the characters. Like, uh, will you get a little rat with Splinter? Will you get a little fly, a little um, alligator? I mean, a little alligator would be pretty big. Same with a rhino. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know what they're going to do with them ones. Um, but certainly, just going on these turtles, we, we've we got a really cool product here. And... There is a turtle van available. Again, doesn't look exactly like it did in the 80s cartoon. But for my money, these are more fun than the recent retro reissues. They're also a lot easier to find. Um, so, yeah, I'm very, very impressed with these. And I can say with pretty high degree of confidence that I'm going to be getting at least Donatello and Leonardo. So... We might drop in with a little video review of them as well if I pick them up. Won't take as long as this because, you know, we, we, we've gone through it. Um, so we'll see how we feel about them. We may pick up the van. Mm. Also got my eye on that sewer playset, which looks pretty awesome. Anyway, that'll do us for now. Um, next video could be an interesting one. Something a little bit different. Um, you can come back and see it. It's It's... Masters of the Universe, but not what you might be expecting. So check back in with that. But in the in the meantime, just play with your toys. Come on, that's what they're for. Pew, 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 pew.